Today, everybody is a content creator, be it tutorials for work or YouTube or TikTok videos. But what do you do if you don't have a dedicated studio or a dedicated room just for shooting videos? Today, I'm going to show you how to make your own studio on wheels anywhere within minutes. I'm going to show you two different setups, one for $300, a more basic one. One is a plus version for $550. Well, all the intro, let's get started. So we'll start with uh, the basic build, which includes the wheels, the stand and the light. Common has those awesome wheels that you can use in order to make any tripod or light stand, put it on wheels. So we have the wheels, we have the stand and the stand actually fits perfectly into the wheels. And the stand is the Godox 290F. You can lock the wheels so it won't move as much. And generally when you're shooting, it's definitely recommended to lock the wheels. And that's it. We have the base for the studio on wheel, basically ready. Open that up and here you can put the light on top of the stud. Take the stud out. By the way, make sure to lock this nice and tight because we won't move that at all. And now that thing can handle quite a bit of weight. Now, the ES45 from Godox, it's an awesome little light. It's actually designed to be mounted behind the table. It comes with a pole that you can put and you know, kind of install in your table. But the top of that pole, you have this uh, mounting head bolt. We take the head bolt and mount it to the stud that came with the Godox stand. And it fits perfectly. Now, straighten it and mount it to the light. Okay. Go here and tighten. Now, when you do all that setup, make sure that you align the light and the camera or anything else we're going to be installing with uh, one of the legs. So in this case, I chose this leg as my main leg. And now I'm aligning everything to that leg because that setup is going to be front heavy. So you want to have a bearing leg to hold the whole setup. Next, we connect the power to the light. Now, one of the coolest thing about the ES45 is that it comes with this tiny little remote, which you can control straight from the light uh, and it charges from the light as well. One downside of that uh, setup and specifically of that light is that it doesn't have a built-in battery. So you have to uh, keep it connected to the power at all times. I'm a huge fan of using Velcro strips in order to kind of tighten and clean up the setup. So we can do one here and another one on the button in order to make the mount for the camera itself. I'm using this super clamp. This one is made by Godox, but uh, there's a few different brands that make them. The most expensive ones are Manfrotto. I'm gonna link my favorite one in the description below. Raise that a little bit and then basically take four fingers up and that's where you want to mount it. That cable, you want to go between the two sides of the clamp and all the holes around here, all the mounting points should go into the front. Once that is ready, tighten it up. Make sure it's really strongly tightened. In order to make camera easy to set up and take apart, we use a stud which is connected to a ball head. This ball head is made by Ulanzi. It's pretty cheap. It's very sturdy and it has the advantage that it can bend 90 degrees. And another nice advantage is that it has a small culture mount on the side built into it. Unlock it, put it into the little uh, hedge over here and fully lock it. It goes into the hole, press the little button on the bottom and lock it in properly. And since I like to have all of my camera equipment Arca Swiss compatible, that means that this one is Arca Swiss as well. We are essentially ready to mount the camera. Here I have the Peak Design mounting plate, but the Ulanzi one comes with its own, which would work perfectly as well. Now you take it here and that is ready. Now, like a quick tip, all those handles on most camera equipment, you can move it and rotate it to the bottom after you tighten it so it won't be in the way. And now since we have the little uh, cold mount here, we can take 
a microphone, either wireless or a shotgun microphone like this one. Tighten it here. Let's plug this in and see how it looks. Don't forget to unlock the wheels. And this is how this setup looks like. I mean, this is pretty awesome for a simple setup on one stick that you can move around anywhere and change the perspective. And now you have unlimited amount of angles to shoot from. And all of them look pretty awesome. Now, I highly recommend to set the light to 56,000 uh, degrees. And I uh, keep it just at 15% because that light can get crazy bright. Okay, it's too bright for me to look at. 15% is more than enough. All right, the cost of this basic setup is the common wheels are $52. The Godox 290F uh, light stand is $55. The uh, Godox ES45 light is $120. The super clamp is $29. And the ball head is $25. All in all, a total of $280 for this setup, excluding the camera and the microphone. If you want a basic setup with a camera and a microphone, I suggest you go with the Canon R50 as your starting camera. Well, not that one, but a very similar one. It comes with a lens and a body for $7.99. And add to that the old wireless Mi, which is actually the setup I'm using now. And that is um, $149 for a wireless microphone setup. Now that we have that set up, if you have a bit of extra money and you want a slightly more advanced and elaborate setup, the upgrades we're gonna do is to have all the charging and the power on that stand as well, including place for additional microphones or potentially lights. And we'll add a little bit more flexibility to the camera. The first thing we'll do is to remove this stud and replace it instead with a mount photo 244 uh, tension on and you will notice here the same Ulanzi ball head. So that goes in here and now that allows us to add a lot of movement into the camera and basically position it however we want. Still with the cold shoe here and the Arca Swiss mount on top so we can take and put the camera here on top and make it higher or lower for example like this. The Manfrotto um, tension arm is a hundred $56 on Amazon as of recording of this video. It's not cheap, but it's very sturdy and it adds a lot of flexibility. Don't keep your camera here while you set it up. Next, in order to have all the sockets you need on the stand, you can get a simple power strip, preferably with uh, surge protection. And a power strip like that is $16, pretty affordable. And mount it on the back of the setup. So the other side of where the camera is suggest to tie as much as you can with the hands. Now it's nice and sturdy here. Okay, turn it off. Zip tied the lights power adapter the same way that um, I zip tied the power strip. And taking the welcome strips and basically shortening that cable as much as possible and plug it into the adapter here. Velcro down the result, like the excess power cable. Do the same thing and connect it with a Velcro strip. The next step is to connect additional cold shoe adapters. So we could mount microphones, lights, and uh, other things. You can take a clamp like this or a smaller Ulanzi super clamp, which I will link in the description. Attach this, attach this, okay. And attach it to the top of the stand. A quick tip with such ball heads, when you unlock the movement of the ball head itself, usually the back of the ball head unlocks as well. So you can open it like close it fully, tighten it, then open it and adjust. And here you can now attach microphones or attach small lights. If we have uh, cameras and lights and microphones, we need power as well. For charging, I absolutely love this charger by McDodo. It's a 100 watt charger, pretty small and comes with a longer cable. That charger has a perfect spot to set it up right here. It fits perfectly with the cable coming down. And we attach it the same way with the two little zip ties. Basically it gives us two USB-C and two USB-A ports to charge any accessories we have here, as well as the camera. So at least the Canon R cameras won't charge when you connect a USB connector that is less than 45 watts. 
and that one solves it for us. This is basically the plus version of the uh, studio on wheels. And what did I add here? I added a power strip to enable connecting all the devices on the stand into one socket and having one power line going to the wall. You probably will connect and disconnect things and forget to disconnect them sometimes. I highly recommend to use a power strip with surge protection. On top of it, uh, we have the McDodo uh, charger, which is connected to that power strip and the light is connected to that power strip as well. Then the McDodo charger is $50 on Amazon. A power strip is, I mean, this one is around $16. So that's not the most expensive part in this plus build. Up here, we have the Manfrotto uh, tension arm, and that is $160. Um, that is the most expensive part in this build. Instead of using Manfrotto, you can get a Godox tension arm, which costs $80. The only reason why is to use the Manfrotto is because I already had it. Up here, we have another clamp, another ball head, a simple ball head, um, and Yulanzi triple uh, cold shoe adapter, which allows us to connect different devices basically on top of it, like a microphone, but also on each one of the sides. So that's a lot, that adds a lot of flexibility. We can connect it to the charger here and charge, for example, the microphone. And the whole setup goes up and down to whatever height you need. And of course, the camera goes here, put it in the center and using that bottom screw, adjust it to your height. And if the camera is about to run out of juice, you can always just plug it in. That's it. Hello and welcome to our today's podcast about, well, I have no idea what it's about. And here we continue with the podcast when we have somebody with a towel here. And this is our next stop in the podcast. You can see the wall behind me. It's a very pretty wall. I think this corner looks really beautiful. You can see everything around. And this is a picture. The triple cold shoe adapter is $15. And that whole setup adds $258 to the basic setup. All in all, the full setup is $550. With a camera and a wireless microphone, we're talking $1,600 for a full blown studio. All the products you see here, are linked in the description. The links are affiliate links. So if you buy to them, I'll get a little something from this. And uh, including this clamp and an alternative, as well as the Manfrotto tension arm and the Godox tension arm as well, if you want to go with a cheap alternative. I hope you enjoy this uh, modern life hack. If you would like to see more life hacks in the future, be sure to subscribe to learn more about code, gear, and algorithms. And speaking of the algorithm, be sure to like and subscribe to this video in order to tell the YouTube algorithm that more people should see it. That's it, until next time, bye.